Is your favorite piece of tech your phone, your laptop, or your jewel? Mm, that's tough. I'm addicted to two out of the three of those. I, my phone, for sure. I actually have never jeweled, I'm going to be honest. Wow. I know. You seem like you would. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm recognizing like a fellow cool person with an addiction. Okay, so you're criticizing me. What, no, what no, question no. do you have for me? I don't have No, any. you're criticizing me. I don't me. have any questions. No. Okay, fine. I have a question. All right, let's go. Have you ever dated an Asian guy? I would never kiss and tell. <laughs> do you want to date? I would. Actually, I think we would make an incredible couple. I and I think we would be one of, like, I actually even what think... What is in your eye, sir? I'm just, I'm crying. Um, <laughs> I'm crying thinking about... Um, I think that we could actually pull off being publicly a couple, even though my brand is so connected to my sexuality, mm. I think people would buy it. I think because my brand is so disconnected from my sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> So here's a question for you. You were adopted by white people, but you're an Asian man. What's your favorite race? I would say um, my favorite race would be uh, the amazing race on CBS. Can you even name four countries in Africa and don't say Egypt? Um, <clears throat> Zimbabwe. Um, South Africa. Um, what you're failing to sort of contextually like bring to the table here is that I was homeschooled. So it's not your responsibility to know any nations in Africa. No, it's not that it's not my responsibility. Is that it was my parents' responsibility to make sure that I knew the countries in Africa, and they failed. And you know, I, I shouldn't have to pay for their sins right now on Showtime. There is no such thing as personal responsibility. Got it. If MLK were alive today, would he use an iPhone or an Android? I think he'd use an iPhone because he's doing a lot of organizing and the group texting with Androids is not really there, you know? And tell me what you learned about MLK in homeschool. Um, I learned that he had a dream. Okay. I learned that he was a Christian. I learned that he you know, because of his Christianity, likely hated gay people. Why would you say that? I, that's, I'm, you asked what I was taught, and I'm telling you what I was taught. Y you asked me specifically what I was taught, not what I believe. Are you a racist, Joking Booster? <laughs> um, I mean, that's an interesting question. Can I be a racist? Like, is it possible for me to be a racist? Do I have the currency, like in society to be a racist? Can I be prejudiced? Yeah, certainly. Um, but I'm not. I'm, I'm neither. I, the, the short of it is, is I'm neither. Are you racist? That was the longest walk to a <laughs> no I'm racist a guest has ever done in the history of the show. Wow. Wow. Black people. Black people are my favorite race. Why would you say that, John? Because you asked me the question. That's such a weird answer. Eek. I'm an incredible guest on this show.